Hey, good morning everyone. Oh, it might be afternoon uh, by the time I get this video up. Anyway, um, just making a quick video here. I'm doing a drum tip of the day for you drummers out there. So uh, I know I shot a video out not too long ago. I was trying to be a little more consistent with it, so I apologize about that. But uh, anyway, working on speed, not just speed, but working on power and intensity uh, with your playing. And I, I get guys asking me specifically so many questions about double bass. And um, that's, I'd say of everything that encompasses my style, that's my wheelhouse. So um, right now, as you can see, I'm out at this uh, park right now. And this is my drum workout for my double bass today. And I know some of you might be going, what the hell is this guy talking about? You're crazy, dude. <laughs> well, no. Um, fast double bass is, if, if as you guys may know, when you're playing fast double bass and you hit that plateau or you hit that, that part in your uh, plane where you can't play anymore, it's not like you're practicing a paradiddle where you start tripping over yourself, right? It's an intense burn that's usually right at the top of the feet, into the tendons, and muscle. It's muscle fatigue muscle and tendon fatigue so that said how do you go through that well my theory my philosophy is that the stronger that the muscles are the stronger the tendons are the more they're going to be able to perform pretty simple right uh it's not a rocket science and that's the philosophy i've used my entire professional life and uh, you know some of you may have heard me talk about treating my playing like an athlete would treat their sport well think about that for a second you know let's use pro football for an example not bowling not golf let's use football because we're talking heavy metal drumming not jazz drumming so i'll use i'll use pro football whether you're a linebacker quarterback hell even if you're the kicker every single one of those guys are in the gym working on their craft they're not just on the field working the football and working drills they're doing a diet, they're doing uh, some sort of workout routine in addition to that. So why do they do that? Because the stronger their body is, the more in addition to, to perfecting their skill, their body's going to be conditioned to do that at a better level. Does that make sense? So anyway, that all said, I'm, I'm here at this field and what I am going to do today, and I do this every now and then, I, I usually mix it up, but I'm going to do what's called high intensity interval training, hit training. And it's really simple. I'm just, this is like a soccer field right here. And I'm just going to start at one end of the, where the goal line would be to the other end of the goal. And I'm going to sprint all out as hard as I can. Now I should do a disclaimer here. I'm not suggesting that you guys do this. I'm just sharing with you what I do. So any heart conditions, any of you guys taking medications, blah, 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 consult the doctor, all that crap. So that out of the way. I'm going to sprint all out top speed as, as fast as I can from one goal line to the next. And then I'm just going to walk back to that goal line that I started at. So count that as one rep. And I don't know, usually I'll do like around 10 of those. If I don't feel like doing 10, maybe I'll do five. If I'm feeling really uh, bold, I'll go for like maybe 15. But I don't, I don't kill myself. The premise of all that is I'm getting my blood up. I, I, my heart rate up really fast for a short period of time and I'm working the leg muscles, the tendons, all of that. And I'm telling you, you know, once I started doing this, um, it, it, it increased my playing tenfold. I was able to go through, you know, I, I started noticing I'd be on the, on playing songs and parts of songs that were double bass burns. Uh, I, I would, uh, you know, you get to that point, you guys know, you get to that point where it starts burning and then all of a sudden you get to that point maybe a week down the road, you're like, God, it doesn't burn like it was at that point until finally you start making it through. So anyway, tip of the day, you want to increase your speed, increase your power, mostly your intensity. Think outside the, uh, outside the jam room as well as inside the jam room. So uh, some of you may know, I'm giving drum lessons, private one-on-one -on -one lessons right now via Skype for the month of April. Uh, Going to extend that probably through the first week of May. So take advantage, guys. It's not that much money. I'd love to help you out. 
give me a shout. Uh, you can, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can just shoot an email. It'll get to me. If you're watching this on Instagram, shoot an email there and it'll get back to me as well. So anyway, have a great day, everyone. Cheers.